sailed around the world, I took with me a minimum of resources. What I had was all I had, and I managed those resources down to the last drop of diesel and the last pack of biscuits. This is a typical Thames waste barge on its way to landfill. Once we dock, the rubbish around me will join mountains of waste materials of every kind. We have to aim to stop products getting here. We need to close the loop. Modern industry as it currently operates is not sustainable. Using cheap fossil fuels and resources, the economy produces mostly waste. It is take, make and dispose. Using less and becoming more efficient sounds a good idea, but it only buys time. It doesn't close the loop. This isn't a recycling issue because recycling doesn't work for all materials. Most products, when they're remade, need the addition of new raw materials, which means we're still taking, and slowing the process isn't a long-term solution. In future, we can take our cues from living systems. Here, waste equals food. It runs on renewables and celebrates diversity. We could design with a circular economy in mind, where products are made to be made again, and everything is a nutrient for the biosphere or for industry. There will be no such thing as waste. There's no reason that industry can't follow this model. Using materials that can re-enter the cycle, be remade into new high quality products, or biodegrade to feed the next process. Then we'll be making items that really are made to be made again, and again, and again. This is Interface Floor. They've made remarkable progress towards a closed loop system, whilst also increasing profitability. So where did the journey to sustainability begin for Interface Floor? It began in 1995 when Ray Anderson, our chief exec and founder, read a book by Paul Hawkins. That book affected Ray so deeply, he came and challenged all the senior execs in the company to make the business sustainable. Yeah. We've been reshaping our processes, our thinking, the whole business to try and achieve that by 2020. Interface Floor are industry leaders because of their dedication to innovation. Meet Cool Green, developed and designed by Interface Floor to reclaim materials from used carpets which are put straight back into the new ones. So this carpet tile has just fallen down, what's going to happen to that? When we make carpet tiles, we make it from bitumen and we end up with waste products. We used to produce about 700 tonnes of this material a year. What does it end up being like when it comes out of the other end of this? It's a three-stage process. It goes through what we call a rotary guillotine. Just get it into the form that we can start mixing it and agglomerating it into one homogeneous pellet. That is still too coarse for us to use. Yeah. So we will then what we call pulverise it. That's and like flour. It is a little bit like flour, yes. That's then mixed into our bitumen compound to make carpet tiles. So that becomes this the second time round? Yes. And you can do that forever, effectively? Yeah. So you've eliminated the waste entirely? We've closed that loop entirely, yeah. yes. Yeah. Pretty amazing. From the cool green machine, the powder that it produced, yeah. goes through the bitumen kitchen, which mixes it with bitumen and limestone. And then the carpet's laminated onto yeah. it. And what percentage of limestone is in the material, in the bitumen? We've got about 70% of recycled limestone, and that's a waste product from yeah. the road building industry. Yeah. It's no good to them, so we can reuse that. OK, so once the carpet's cooled down, it's cut into squares, it's inspected, and then it's collated. So that's it? And that's a carpet tile, yes. Yeah. that's stamped out? That's stamped 50 centimetres by 50 centimetres, yeah. yes. And what's different about this? Because it's not all moving at the same time. It's called an intelligent conveyor, and it only conveys when the actual tiles need to be transported, and it saves about 60% of the energy of a normal conveyor. That's really impressive, isn't it? Right, I'd better get this one back off. Interface Floor can also rent you a carpet. They'll repair and maintain it, and at the end of its life, they'll reprocess it. This cuts waste even more, increases profit, and turns floor covering into a service. I think Interface's carpet 
It's not just based on some recycled content, which is what's commonly held as being sustainable these days. It's the whole ethos behind the business and the company. The fact that we've been using green tariff electricity, for example, since 1998. The degree of training and knowledge used by our engineers, by our designers, to actually try and build sustainability and right from the design back to taking the carpet back and eventually recycling it. So, Lindsay, you set a target of 100% sustainable by 2020. What on earth will that look like? What that will look like is that the face of our carpet tiles are made with 100% either recycled or renewable based yarn. The backing is made from recycled carpet tiles. Yeah. And all the processes are driven by renewable energy. So that really will be 100% sustainable? That's what we intend. That's an incredible challenge, isn't it? Certainly. Very it's exciting. It's only about. 10 years away. Yeah. <laughs> You're going to be busy, I think. We're going to be very busy. Yes. <laughs>